Hi, I'm Sarah Gratton. I'm a councillor on the Northern Beaches Council. I was elected in 2017, so I've been a councillor for just over four years. I'm also the COO, Chief Operating Officer of UNICEF Australia. I have responsibility for finance, risk, governance, strategy, uh, compliance, and uh, I bring these skills to council um, and my role in council. On council, I am a member of the Audit Risk and Improvement Committee and we look, up, look at the financial statements, financial performance, improvement, risk management and so forth. I'm also the chair of the Travel and Transport Strategic Reference Group and a member of the Community and Belonging Reference Group and most recently the Economics and Smart Communities Reference Group. I take the governance role at council uh, very seriously. Uh, it is a $5 billion organisation and uh, one of the, I think, the largest employer on the Northern Beaches. So being a councillor is like being a board member on the board of a major Australian company. The rates are calculated by an unimproved land value, um, which might be a million dollars, say, times by an ad valorem rate, which is multiplied by that value to determine what is the value of your rates. Now what, is ha what happened in 2016, the Manly, Pitwater and Warringah councils were amalgamated, joined together as one, one unit. And they had three different rating systems across the three councils. So part of the requirement of amalgamation was to convert those three different rating systems into one, the Northern Beaches Council rate. And that happened earlier in this year and that was passed back in March 2021 to apply for the 21-22 financial year, which is, relates to the rates, charges, notices that we've all received. What that means is for a million dollar property anywhere on the Northern Beaches, the same rate will now be paid. The way that rate uh, changed from year to year looks at the rates as a whole for the council, the total amount of rates and charges for the council. And the amount that it can go up by each year to reflect inflation is determined by the Independent Pricing and Regulatory Tribunal, IPART. And for this particular year, the increase is 2%. And that so the rate, the total rate pool is increases by 2% and how much for you and your individual property uh, and how much your rates go up depends on the land value, the unimproved land value, which is determined by the New South Wales Government through the New South Wales Land uh, Valuer General. So on the northern beaches now, there are over 104,000 properties, residential properties on the beaches and there's also 8,000, about 8,000 businesses on the beaches that also pay rates. So when we look at the, what is the rate value that's been amalgamated, it has been, it's a weighted average of what those three rates were for the three former councils. And what has happened with the harmonisation process is that manly rates have gone up, but for 75% of the Northern Beaches residents of the former Pitwater and Warringah, their rates have actually gone down. So on the basis of a million dollars of unimproved land value, for this year, if you'd lived in the former Manly area, your rates will have gone up. But if you lived in the former Pitwater, your rates have gone down. And if you lived in the former Warringah area, your rates have gone down. So for 76% of residents on the Northern Beaches, they've actually had a rate reduction this year. And the 24%, which is the Manly Ward residents, their rates have gone up.